This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello friends and fellow toy junkies, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Robot Enhanced Design or Red version of Bumblebee. He, uh, he looks pretty awesome to be honest. I uh, can't wait to get him out of the package and take a look and see what he has in store for us. Stay tuned. <music> First things first, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging here. Uh, typical red, we've got some nice artwork of Bumblebee here on the front, on the side. Bumblebee in the center, of course. Robot enhanced design, Transformers. Bumblebee. There is the view from the side with all of his accessories. Obligatory product shots on the back. And that's about it. I mean, there it is from the top. Nothing too exciting about this line. So let's uh, see uh, what happens when we crack them open. As far as accessories, you do get a blaster. It's done on a very soft rubber. You can tell mine is actually bent from the packaging. Uh, it's nicely detailed. It's got a hole in the front. It's okay. This is the first of two blast effects that he comes with. This is a more stubbier, wider blast pattern. And here is the longer blast effect, both done in yellow. They're both done in a very cheap kind of rubber. And it does, does want to bend. It's actually, as you can tell, mine was bent to the packaging. A little heat will probably fix that though. In addition to the pistol grips he comes with in the packaging, he does two he does have two closed hand fists. All of them do pivot, as you can see. And they're detailed okay. Just done in black plastic. And he does come with an Energon cube, which could have been done better. The, uh, the one that came with Cheetor, in my opinion, was a lot better detailed, to be honest. But it's nice that they included it. I do like the color, though. And that brings us to Bumblebee himself. He, to be honest, does look pretty nice. He does have some issues that we'll get to later. But overall, this probably is my favorite from the red line releases so far that I picked up. I've been hit and miss. I haven't picked up all of them, but I did pick up Starscream. Or I did pass on Starscream when I picked him up. Starscream just, I don't know, something about his proportions just appears very very wonky but bumblebee looks great let's take a look at some detail he does have a very nicely done head i love the head sculpt but he's got that grin which it's one of the uh one of the bad things i feel he even when he's you know blasting at a decepticon if you pose him that way He's going to have this little shit-eating grit on his face. So, that's a little bit disappointing. I wish it would have a little bit less of an emotional face. But it looks good. It's got the nice gray paint, blue eyes. Looks awesome. The rest is just yellow plastic. Coming down the chest. Nice Autobot symbol. More yellow plastic. The black is actually painted. As you can tell, it's not perfect in there. Got some added detail with some paint rubs, scrapes. Looks pretty good. Looking at the arms. Good detail. More of that uh, accent silver inside of the arms. They're actually separate pieces, so rather than paint it, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. 
rather than paint it, they molded it in black plastic and inserted it and glued it in. Coming down to the hands, here is the gripping hand. Again, nicely sculpted. The only thing I don't like about these hands is rather than have a pivot in and out here, they all pivot like this. So it does limit some of the posability in my opinion. At least one of the hands should have pivoted in and out. At least that's how I feel anyway, but looks pretty good. Coming down to the waist and the legs, sculpted detail throughout. No paint, just uh, it's actually rubber, but done very nicely. More of the scrape marks on the side of the legs, both sides. Detail on the inside of the feet. Looks pretty good. And of course the bumper and the wheel wells. Got his rear tire on the back. And that's just about it as far as paint and detail. So it's not too bad. Articulation, the head is just basically on a swivel. It's got a little bit of side to side. Not really worth mentioning, no up and down at all. Arms can go up to there. Surprisingly, they do actually have a butterfly. So you do get forward and back on the shoulders. That's nice. Upper bicep rotation, double jointed elbow for more than 90 degrees. We already saw the swivel and the pivot on the hands. If you want to swap these out, very simple. Pop one out. And pop the other one in. And it'll lock in just fine. But yeah, they all have that same. All have that same up and down. I would have preferred at least one side to side. The chest is interesting. Um, I don't know if this is a shout out to the G1 toy or a specific episode. I honestly can't remember, but it actually does pivot. You can remove it. And there's the internals. Got some nice painted detail in there, silver accents. It looks pretty good. And that actually reveals his ab crunch, which I don't think any of the others had ab crunch, did they? Actually, RC did a little bit, but not much. Uh, waist swivel. Legs can kick up that far, back that far, and almost all the way out. Nice double jointed knee, so he can go all the way back. And his ankles are actually surprising. The way it's set up, it's got a ball, so you can tilt. There is actually forward and back motion here on the ankle, so it can pivot that far forward and back. And with the available tilt, then you've actually opened it up for quite a bit of uh, displaying popular possibilities different poses are something you can definitely do with this guy. Surprisingly, I mean, that's pretty amazing. There's the bottom of the feet, definitely gapped. And it looks like he does have some holes for a stand. Not that he'd need it because he his feet are pretty big. But overall, I think that he actually looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that he is my favorite from the line so far but the only problem being that he is a mini bot he's just, he's too big so for example he's the same height as soundwave and he's also the same height as megatron and megatron actually has ab prints too so, 
size wise, he's just not there. But decor wise, he looks he looks great. To be honest, I can't find any faults. So let's start this off with the negatives. He could have used a little more paint, that's for certain. But I mean, that's forgivable for a twenty dollar figure this big. The uh, size it just does not to scale with anything. I mean, he's definitely not going to be the same size as Megatron, no matter what version of the cartoon or comic you look at. That's a certainty. So that is a bit disappointing. Positive wise, sculpt looks awesome. The face sculpt looks great, except for that little grin could have been a little better. He does uh, include a nice selection of accessories, which is good. He is very fitting to the G1 character and cartoon accuracies is something that I do strive for in my collection, other than a few odds and ends. So, is this a recommend for me? Certainly, he looks really good. If you can find him, by all means, pick him up if you're in on the red line. If not, well, I mean, I'll leave that decision up to you. But, I do love him. I think he's great. He's probably gonna be my desk bot that I mess around with, and uh, I'm looking forward to what we see in the future from this line. So, all that being said, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Everything you do it doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.